Hello friends. In this video I am going to teach you, second method of making circular designs. At the end of this video, you will be able to see something like this. In the previous video of this channel, I have taught you circular design method using various motifs. Today's method is best for geometrical circular designs. So let's start. I am going to create this same design. So first, I will reduce the opacity of this image file. Then, I will go to Object, Lock, Selection to lock the image. Next, I will use Pen tool to trace the basic elements. So now, almost all the basic elements is ready. Let's unlock the image file. Now, go to Window and open Brushes. I will select all the default brushes and delete it. Now, select first element and drag and drop it in the brush window. Here, click on the pattern brush. Then, click on the approximate path. And, in the method, change it to tints. Press OK. You will find a new brush pattern is created. Let's test it. For that, draw a circle and click on the brush pattern. Looks good. So make the brush pattern for all the basic elements, one by one. But for the circle, I am going to add some spacing. I have changed the spacing by 500%. You will see the pattern with space created in the preview. Now the last motif brush to be created. I think all the brushes are ready to use. It seems, one last motif I missed. I will quickly create this too. Done. Let's start creating the circular designs now. First, I will draw the largest circle shape. Click on the brush to create the circular design. You can also change the stroke of this circle, to increase or decrease the size of the motifs. Go to Edit, copy this circle, and paste in front, for a copy at same place. Shortcut Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Press Shift and Alt key together, and scale it down from the corner. Now press D in the keyboard, to get the default circle, with black stroke and white fill. Adjust the second circle. Remove the fill. Now copy this inner circle, and paste it again. Reduce the size again from corner by pressing, Shift and Alt key. I need another circle. So I will repeat the process again. Now I will apply the second brush. I will adjust the size again. 
So the same way, I will keep on creating inner designs until it's ready. I will fast forward this video to make it short. So our complete design is ready. Now to fill the color, select all and remove the fill. Select all again and group it. Cross check if there is no fill color inside. Since these motifs are in stoke, you can change the stroke color of all the cycle individually. But to fill the color inside the motifs, follow this step. Select all. Go to object. Click on expand appearance. Now, you can individually select any motif using direct selection tool. Select all again and press K in the keyboard. This is the shortcut of Live Paint tool in the keyboard. Now from the swatches, pick any color and start coloring it. This is little time taking process. So I am going to fast forward this. Perfect. We can also create seamless pattern using this design. If you do not know how to create seamless pattern, go to the previous videos of seamless pattern in this channel. I have also attached this file in the link of this video description. Download it for free. If you feel this video is helpful to you, then kindly like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.